What's up, YouTube gamers? Young Soul back with another video. And here I'm going to point out some Xbox flip-flops that we have seen. Um, just recently, um, Phil Spencer came out to th saying that he detests the, the vitriol of the console wars and people, you know, taking this, you know, debating to all new levels. And this has now conjured up Xbox fanboys to reignite the whole um, PlayStation, the, 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 idiotic and stupid PlayStation and PC guys who made death threats at the woman you're looking at right now. That's Camilla Luddington, the voice actress for Tomb Raider, for, for Laura Croft and Tomb Raider. Um, let me start off by saying, before we get into how Xbox fanboys are flip-flopping, let me start off by saying threatening over anyone over the internet is stupid, number one, because you're threatening another human being over, you know, you know, just back and forth, you know, debating. Um, and number two, it makes you, the person who's threatening, look like you're out of control, like you're losing your the argument. But more specifically to the death threat over Camilla Ludington, look at her. Now, I don't know, hey, there's some guys who might like other guys, but for the guys who like females, I don't know how you can see this girl is not attractive. I'm a black guy, and I don't normally go for white girls. That's just me. I go for more black and Hispanic girls. Uh, but I make an exception for her. Okay, so more, you know, so still the same two original reasons apply, apply to not threaten people. But there's a third added one, like, why would you threaten her of all, of all people? She is gorgeous. Okay. But let's move beyond that. Okay, so Xbox fanboys have reignited the whole PlayStation fanboys. They're sitting on their moral, moral high ground saying PlayStation fanboys threaten the lives of video game makers. And they point to this as the example, etc., etc. Here's where the flip-flop comes in. If you go ahead, and, and I'll put this link in the description. If you go ahead and take a look at this article, you will see that Xbox fanboys threaten the Halo Master Chief Collection director because of the online problems the Master Chief Collection had. Let me repeat that for you. Xbox fanboys threaten the game a game developer that works for Xbox. Threaten. Like, like actionable threats. I mean, they, he goes on to say that there were... Um, what was it? He said that there... I'm looking for the quote right now. Um, let me see. Um, he's he's got to look out for his own safety. He said that um, through his position in the public in the public eye has led to a big enough backlash that he is now being forced to look out for his own safety rather than continue sharing a welcome open dialogue with consumers. He said, and this is his quote. This is uh, Frank O'Connor who's Halo franchise director. He said, I am not posting much for a couple of reasons. One, too busy trying to fix. Two, well past a couple of dozen believable death threats. Okay? That's that's what he that's what he said. Believable death threats. Okay? I'm linked I'm linking it in the description so you guys don't think I'm I'm lying. So, the flip-flop is Xbox fanboys Love to point out that PlayStation and or PC, I'm not really sure, but let's just say PlayStation idiots, and I will remind you, those people are idiots who made those actual threats to Camilla Ludington, those morons, and Xbox fanboys like to say, no, these, see, these are the guys who are the real problem, it's the PlayStation guys, because they're the ones threatening, and yet, this happened, actually, this happened in December of 2014, which was actually after... The threats to Camilla Ludington. I, I'm sorry, I don't have. I didn't have that post ready to go showing the time frame, but I think it was shortly after the Gamescom 2014, which happened in August. So August or September. This happened afterward. The Xbox fanboys, um, Xbox idiots, threatening the life of an Xbox developer, and yet you probably never heard of this. Why? Because it never made much news. Okay, well, and partly because, take a look at Camilla Ludington. 
you're going to threaten her. She, she's, you know, an actress. She's a big time actress. So that's going to make news. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Xbox fanboys, I bet you don't even know that there were some Xbox idiots who threatened the life of an Xbox developer. I'm putting that out there. Next time you hear Xbox fanboys talking about, yeah, but at least we don't threaten game makers. Go ahead. I give everybody full permission as if you needed it to link. Take my link in the description and shoot it over to them and say, okay, what do you make of this? Just, just ask them, what do you make of this? Why is it that if you guys hate people threatening people so much, why don't you call, call this out? Nah, they just like calling out PlayStation side. They give Xbox a pass. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll holler back. Peace.